hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little bit different from my usual videos it's still going to be a shopping vlog but i'm also going to be showing you guys around this new mall that opened up relatively recently in jersey like within the past one to two years everything is opening kind of like in phases though so there's still a lot of empty spaces in there and this is kind of an impromptu filming session so i didn't have an intro recorded hence this voiceover because i only plan to go there since i had to return something at Saks. But when I looked up the American Dream Mall, I was pretty impressed because it's not just your usual mall, but it also has a bunch of attractions too, like there's the Nickelodeon theme park, there's the DreamWorks water park, um, they have indoor surfing, mini golf, there's like this year-round skiing and snowboarding spot, which is kind of cool, and there's a bunch of others too that I can't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys some of that too. And also, it's the second biggest mall in all of America. So anyways, back to the shopping aspect. Honestly, the selection isn't the best compared to shopping in Manhattan, of course, or even Short Hills Mall, which is also in New Jersey. But if you're not a fan of waiting in lines or crowds in general like me, then you should go here. And yeah, I'm the type of person who would rather not go somewhere than wait online. So I was pretty surprised I could walk into places like louis vuitton and gucci without waiting and as for the stores there's a saint laurent there's hermes tiffany and mulberry and then within Saks, there's dedicated spaces for chloe givenchy bottega veneta gucci and also louis vuitton Colors are really pretty. There's not a single person here to even help me out, I feel like. This place is kind of deserted, honestly. I really like this leather. Oh, this is so cushy. Is there supposed to be a strap on the first? Yes. The slouchy ones, these you can kind of just like put it under here. <laughs> no, it doesn't come with a strap. The big ones don't. Yeah, I don't think they do. That's just all stuffing in there. Or you can hold it like this. The handle is surprisingly comfortable. I wasn't sure if this would be uncomfortable to hold. Bamboo? Yes, it is real bamboo. This one, right? You like this blue? Yes. I don't know. Not really the shape of the bag. If it was a little brighter, like a little more cobalt blue, I think it would look better. Oh, these are in black hardware. I didn't know they made these in black hardware. I wonder if this is actual ostrich skin. It's got that same type of polka dotted pattern to it. I don't know. I highly doubt it. Let's see the price. Mm, let's see. $275. I don't think this is real ostrich. Probably some type of embossed leather oh this leather feels really nice it's got that bamboo handle again those same clutches in pink and then there is this kind of tortoiseshell looking one quite cute 
And this is adorable. Every brand has a bag like this nowadays, I feel like. Louboutin, Chloe, Loewe, and they all look basically the same. How do you even choose which one you want? Oh, this bag. This bag kind of looks like the Hermes Garden Party to me. I think it's a good suit. What do you guys think? Does it look similar? Quite heavy though. And now moving on to Louis Vuitton, I actually have a story to tell you guys about my experience in the store, but I'll keep that separate from this vlog. So anyways, I went in there specifically to look at some of the new spring items. I believe the collection is called Spring in the City, and I'm definitely a bit late to seeing this collection, so they didn't have anything in the Midnight Fuchsia colorway anymore, but they did have Sunrise Pastel and also Sunset Khaki. I actually really like the colors for this collection, much more than the similar ones from last spring's collection. And the monogram pattern on the canvas for the bags is quite interesting. It has this shiny finish to it and it's raised from the canvas. So it adds this nice kind of dimension to it. But the SLGs, I believe the monogram pattern is just printed on there. So there's a little bit of a difference between the two. And I knew I would like the pastel one, but I surprisingly really like the khaki color too. Plus that's much more wearable, not just in the springtime. I think that could definitely work year round as a matter of fact. So I tried on the Papillon BB in the Sunrise pastel color and it's quite cute. It's a nice alternative to the multi pochette accessoire in my opinion and it has that same little coin purse and the thick canvas strap. And I think this color is probably best in smaller bags like this one or on SLGs. And it looks quite well made too in my opinion. And next, I tried on the marshmallow bag in the sunset khaki color. And while I really like the look of this bag from photos, even when it was released last year during the spring collection, I was kind of disappointed with it in person. I think this bag looks best as a shoulder bag, but that shoulder strap is just so stiff and uncomfortable in my opinion that if I were to ever buy this bag, I would end up using this as a crossbody bag instead. It does come with a second strap to carry a crossbody, which is a good thing, but at the same time, I just don't think this bag looks great when worn crossbody. like every color possible this one is the one i'm interested in it's darker in person than when you look at photos online though or this one also looks pretty nice both of these two actually give you guys a sense of what fits in here so it does fit a full-size wallet which is pretty surprising and I also have my sunglasses in here um, Purell car keys house keys of course I would never put such big things well maybe the sunglasses but I would never put a full-size wallet in here so this is quite spacious and you do need this to be somewhat filled to be able to close this easily otherwise it's a little bit too soft Here's what it looks like when it's filled. Something is poking out over here. So this is a really soft leather. You will see some imprints of this stuff. So that over there, the dream wheel, that's the newest thing that opened up recently. It's supposed to give you kind of like views of the New York City skyline. Is that Manhattan over there or is that further into Jersey? Uh, I doubt it. 
And that's where you get on. So over there, those are the little pods for the wheel. Wonder if I can go outside. Are you sure it's not free? It's not free. So yeah, that's what it looks like outside. And this is oh, I can't even capture this whole thing. Let me see. No, that's zooming in. Yeah, this is the ginormous wheel. There's a lot of pods here. Wow. Yeah. I'll have to go on this sometime. Is that the garden? What we saw on the map? I think so. What does it look like on the inside? It's so pretty. I wonder if that's all real flowers. This is so perfect for Instagram photos. Wow. Oh, look at the swan. There's these swans. Do they? Yeah, they look. They look like they're. I don't know. Is that like moth algae? And the gnomes over there. Pretend to fall off. <laughs> so it looks like the Nickelodeon theme park is this way. What else did you say was this way? There's some like water, like uh, aquarium. Aquarium, type thing. aquarium and then there's like Legoland. Legoland. No, is this it? That's the store, and then I think but then there's, there's a Legoland. Legoland. Oh, the... there's also Horizon. That's T-Mobile. What? Oh, T-Mobile's over there. <laughs> oh, this is not open. These aren't open anymore. This is mini golf. There's a mini golf thing here. So all we ended up buying today was food basically. And also he is currently eating Van Luen ice cream. Which flavors did we get again? Um, royal wedding cake and passion fruit cheesecake. Yes. Highly I recommend. Hmm? What was in the royal wedding cake? Uh, some sort of like it like has like a floral sweet, sweet cream, elderberry, and lemon sponge cake. I want to try their mac and cheese flavor. <laughs> mac and cheese flavor? Yes. What's your favorite one? Pistachio or honeycomb? Uh, probably honeycomb. Honeycomb? Yeah. Mm. All right, so that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy kind of like a walkthrough of this mall. It's so big. I didn't even have the energy to walk all around it. Here's the garden from a top-down view. So pretty. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, it hasn't opened up completely yet. There's still a lot of stores that are coming soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, doing a little shopping with me. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye!